think you ought to know that uh, Elizabeth Cotton Libba, was born and raised down in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. But she came to know my family up in Washington, D.C. And uh, as I said earlier, she never thought of being a professional musician. She just played a little music when she was young for the fun of it. And she actually stopped playing the guitar for many years. Isn't that right? Uh, yes, that's right. When I joined the church, they told me not to play the ragtime songs and be a member of the church. And I well, what got started you playing again? Well, when I come to Washington to live, I applied to the apartment store for a job. I worked at Lansbury Apartment Store. They gave me a job to sell dogs. I was just there for the holidays. Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. Mrs. Seeger, Mike Seeger's mother, walked in with two sisters, Pete's stepmother. She came in with two fine looking children. That was Peggy and Barbara. She bought two dolls, one for each child. While she was waiting for the dolls to get wrapped, Peggy got lost in a store. I happened to be the one to find her, bring her into her mother. Peggy was crying, and I never could stand to see children cry much. When I brought in, the tears was coming down on my cheeks. So Mrs. Seeger says to me, have you worked here long? I says, no. She says, well, if you ever decide to stop working here, here's my telephone number. Give me a ring. I said, yes, I'll do that. So after New Year's, I stopped working at Landbury Department Store. I decided to give Mrs. Seeger a ring. She says, come right out. The same day I went out, she started me work. And I worked for her 10 years. She was a folk singer, music writer. They had two pianos, guitars, banjos, mandolins, all, all kinds of string music. Because that made me think about what I used to do, play a guitar a little bit in a banjo. So Peggy kept her guitar in the kitchen hanging. So when Mrs. Seeger would go in to start her music, I'd get the guitar and go in the dining room, close the door so that I couldn't be heard. So I was in playing freight train. I was just playing it away. Peggy and Michael walked in. They said, well, never. We didn't know you could play a guitar. Well, there's nothing to say. I was playing guitar. So Peggy says to me, what was the song you playing? I says, Freight Train. She said, would you teach me how to play that song? I says, certainly. So from that, I started learning Michael and Peggy. Nights at dinner time, I cook dinner and put my dinner on the table. And that's about all the work I'd have to do. The kids would clear the table, wash my dishes, tell me to sit down and play freight train. So I wouldn't have much work to do after I cooked dinner. <laughs> and they had a lot of boys and girls that had found that I could play. That all of them would join in and help clear the table, wash up the dishes, and do everything. Libba, uh, we have time for a couple more. Before you play freight train, would you play that Wilson rag? Yes. Okay. 